something that they've got to work a billion. That is absolutely impossible with the proof of work system of Bitcoin because you cannot change your ledger once it's ingrained. If you stop thinking of it in terms of a currency, you start thinking of it in terms of the internet. When you think of the internet, you don't think of information packets. You go to a website, you don't count the packets going back and forth to build your web page. You just think of accessing a network. Think of the Bitcoin network as the same way you have an entire new world that's open to you. Now, as for fluctuations, there are many ways to counter it. The application I just sent around, it does uh, virtual digital swaps. You want to lock in the price, you find somebody who wants to take Bitcoin price of volatility, consume it, you want to sell it, you want to lock in the price to a euro or a dollar, you simply do it, and now the Bitcoin is locked in. To address, you know, you know, to address his two concerns, I'm, I have it all built in. Okay. Yeah. To address his two concerns, okay, he had the network, the exit node. Okay, number one, that's assuming that Bitcoin is not considered a medium of uh, exchange itself. Okay, Bitcoin does not have 12 years of history. The bit, white paper was introduced in 2009. I think it started to come, it started being traded and mined actively in 2010. So you're talking four to five, six years of history. Okay, if that long. Okay, it became mainstream about a year and a half ago. Okay, I mean, in other words, the mainstream is you have more than 14 propeller heads who know what it is. That's, that's, that's what I consider me. Google trends. Yeah. Google trends. <laughs> okay, so. Um, that's to address part one. Part two, as to the value of the network, we go to the impenetrable um, proof of work system. That has significant value. Um, and the risk at the exit node, if you do have an exit node, yes, you do have risk, you do have some kind of party risk just at that node. Even if you accept that, compare that to the legacy system that you have today, each and every single node has significant bilateral counterparty risk, credit risk, default risk, et cetera. So instead of, instead of having to rely on one bank going bust, you have to rely on that bank, that bank's custodian, you have the clearing agent. How many times has that happened? It happened. You know, the way you are saying, what's the mainstream? How many people know Bitcoin is this group? Talking about nothing but mainstream. So uh, okay. three people is called mainstream. Okay, okay. but, but, but okay. it's not, you're still thinking in terms of currency. It's irrelevant. But how many people in this room own internet servers? No, internet is different. So no, it's not. No, it's not different. Bitcoin internet. is an internet? That's right, he's pointing that. Yeah. So, so. The, 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 my point is, internet is not different. Bitcoin is a protocol-based yeah. platform. Right. Internet is a protocol-based platform. Okay, you might not own an internet server, but everybody here relies on the internet every day. They make a phone call, they pay the bank, check email, etc. It's my um, assertion that everybody within three to five years will rely on a Bitcoin network as well. When you get on your car, you start your car, if you want to buy gas, you'll tell your car computer, I want to bid on the price of 10 gas gallons of gas. There are four people in front of you, right? You send out your bid, say, $15 a gallon, the price inflation, right? <laughs> someone else bids $16, mm -hmm. someone bids $14, right? It goes to the Bitcoin network, right? The internet of value. You win, you get the gallon gas filled up. All this time, you never knew anything about Bitcoin, just like you don't know anything about TCP IP, packet transfer, um, MX protocol, et cetera. But it allows you still to use the email, to surf the web, to watch YouTube. The technology is always going to be convoluted for someone who doesn't know it very well. But that doesn't mean it doesn't go mainstream. Almost every mainstream service that you use is built on technology. Most people have no idea how it works, and they don't care as long okay, as Okay, let's talk about internet and Bitcoin. Well, let's, let's, yeah. That there are 21 mm -hmm. million okay. potentially Bitcoins but let's, let's, that are going to exist by 2040. I want to keep finish on this point. So how can okay, you... Okay, okay, okay. Let's, 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 let's let... If, if we okay. could, we'll come back, but let's let Josh respond, and then we have somebody else trying to ask so, a question, right. and, then, and then we'll, we'll we have plenty of time. But let's right. so, okay. so first off, I, I totally agree that security and proof of identity is probably the most valuable part, not actual store of value of money. Um, so so that, that, that's been my issue, is the store of value, because I think that 